Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with my dad, John Rush, behind the camera. And this is the review of the 2016 Ford F-150. Now some of you are going to say, well, didn't you guys just do this review a few months ago? The answer is yes. However, this is a different trim level. This is the limited trim level, top of the line, a step above their Platinum. The last review we did had a Lariat trim package on it. So this is the limited. It's got a few just select features only for this trim package, which we'll get into in just a second. But again, it is two separate reviews. So if you feel like you've clicked on the wrong one, feel free to click there. But again, this is top of the line. This truck, as it sits, this window sticker right in front of us, 67270 dollars And that's with roughly... I want to say $4,170 worth of options on it. So there's a pretty healthy amount of equipment on this vehicle. Uh, and the best way I know how to show that or to t talk to you guys about that is just to show you. So let's jump right into the review. We're not going to go over as many nitty and gritty uh, kind of intricacies as we did in the last review. Uh, if you if you want to learn more about that, head to our Lariat review. It's kind of a bronze colored truck. You can check that out. One thing you'll first notice on this truck, different grill, as well as the limited decals right here on the front. This is actually a satin finished grill, which gives it, a, again, a different look specifically for this model. You also have quad lamp LED headlights. And again, I'll say that one more time, quad lamp LED headlights. You're seeing right now the 22 inch wheels that come on the limited version. Real quick, before I forget, this is the 3.6 liter V6 twin turbocharged EcoBoost engine. Something to note, we'll get into that more in just a second. The unique styling, as I mentioned, we get around to the back, you'll notice here on the tailgate, again, this nice big silver badging on here for Limited. Uh, Ford's not the only manufacturer doing this anymore. Ram is actually going to this right now. Uh, I believe Chevrolet is the only other manufacturer, GM I should say, that's not doing quite this bland, or uh, in your face styling, you could say. Um, also, the satin finish is also on the door handles, which again, we weren't able to show you and it's hard with the lighting here these days. A few other features, just again for the limited, front and rear body colored bumpers. So you'll notice this is the exact same color as the body. The chrome exhaust tip, which is right here, you can see it's kind of a square exhaust tip. We apologize for the dirt, but that is, is um, on this limited that comes as a standard feature. I mentioned the quad LED headlamps. A few other features that we won't really be able to show you as much today. Adaptive cruise control, a 360 degree camera system, active parking assist, LED side mirror spotlights, and remote tailgate, which actually, well, since we're back here, why don't I show you that? It actually has a remote tailgate button on here on the key fob. We'll kind of show you that really quick. Then I'll kind of walk over to you. So as you can see this button right down here, the second one from the bottom, you just double click it. Actually here, let's do it. There you go. And actually it's got, again, the easy kind of lower lift tail tailgate. It's going to drop down. That was from the key fob, which is a nice feature. Some of you are going to say, well, for a truck, geez, I mean, this is not... Let me, let me say this before we continue with the review. This is not a work truck. This is not a go around, throw a bunch of rocks in it, throw a bunch of shovels in it. No, this is if you're going to be doing a lot of cruising, if you're going to be doing a lot of job, job site to job site, maybe as a foreman, or maybe you just want a nice luxurious vehicle to drive around and you want this extra bed storage just in case you need it. That's what this truck and vehicle are for. As we get into the tailgate, you can see it does have the spray and bed liner, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is an option on here. Yes, it is. As well as these active, what do they call them? They call them the stowable loading ramps right here. So you can see they're locked in here. You don't have to worry about someone coming in and grabbing them. But these are have the ability, and it's actually integrated right here. There's a little lip specifically for those steps. So if you wanted to put a four-wheel or a dirt bike, something in here, you could do that easily. It does have the side or the, the tailgate step right here. This is Ford's version of that step. Some manufacturers, Chevrolet and others, have put the side steps here. Ram hasn't done, done anything. This is what Ford has done. So pull this out, set this down. Here's your step right here. It's kind of a spring-loaded little thing. You pull this out. This is your handle. Put this up, lock it in. Now, to get in, all you do, you step here, lift, and you're able to step right up into it. To get down really easy, again, hold on to the handle, step right down. Putting it away, it gives you a nice number system. It has the number one right here. You push that, a number two, you fold down, slide everything in like that. 
lift this up to 90 degrees, put it in, and you are good to go. One other thing to note, which I'm dad, I'm not sure if we noted it on the last review. There's no actual physical handle right here to pull back for the tailgate. There's just a button. Put your hand underneath it, button, and it unlocks it. Just something to note, not a big deal. Um, what else kind of back here on the exterior? I'm going to go through my notes here. A lot of other features that we want to get into on the interior of this truck. But for the most part, this is what the, is going to be the major differences that most people are going to see from the outside on the limited. You can see here real quick, I'm glad you noticed that, Dad. Two different cameras here. One is for your backup camera. One is for your trailer camera. We showed that in the other review a little bit. And what I will say about this is if you want to learn more about this trailer camera, look at other reviews dedicated to just that. Also, head to your Ford dealer and I'm sure they would be happy to give you an exact demonstration of how it works. There's a lot of putting stickers on things and, and kind of being able to do things like that. Just know that, that it works. We've seen it work in person, uh, but we don't really have the full capabilities to show you that today. So, with actually, Dad, why don't we just kind of go around to the other side. We'll continue right along with the review. One thing I do want to note here, Dad, before we move along, side steps right here. You push this little button. If you needed to access something right out of the back of the truck, it's easy. Ford, one thing to note, it's a little hard to get these things back in. You got to really jam them in there. <laughs> it's just for, for lack of better words. And up here, there is another sensor on both sides to help you. That's part of that active parking assist there. So we're going to, I'm going to first just open this door, see how wide it opened, see some of the interior apportionments, but I want you guys to see what the interior looks like. Again, both seats are folded up right now. We'll put them down here in just a second. I want you to see this is a flat laying floor. You could put cargo back in here, groceries, however you want it, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to do. I'm going to actually, there's a little lever here or, that you pull down. So I'm going to hop in. As you can see, more than enough room. Again, this seat, actually, we had a good buddy Walton here. Walt, I think six foot four, six foot five. Uh, got nice broad shoulders, nice lay, or long legs, lay nice legs. He's going to laugh at me for saying that. Nice long legs for Walt. More than enough room right here. We've got probably got, I would say, six, seven inches at least. Heated seats here in the second row, which is a really, really nice feature. You do have a power port right here, full power port, as well as a, uh, a you know cigarette lighter port back here. Vented. One thing you'll note, and you'll see this more on the front, this nice wood grain trim right here is exclusive to the Limited. And that is what Ford is calling or it's their eucalyptus wood. Okay, so if you're curious as to what the wood is, that's what it is. This leather is a Mojave leather. Um, it's got, I guess that's kind of the color to it. It's very nice, very soft, very lush. A lot of nice door pockets right into here. Again, very nice, just nice soft touch material. And Dad, I don't know if you were able to show, show this, but you do have a panoramic sunroof. Again, this, I think, and I may be wrong, is a first for a truck. Full panoramic sunroof. You're seeing a lot of this in... SUVs nowadays, this is something that's really is an added feature and I mean man, it makes you feel like you're driving a luxury SUV. As you get out, obviously one last thing I do want to show you that this truck does come equipped with it, and I'll check really quick as an if it's an option or not, is the running boards. Again, these are automatic, so we close that and it will actually go up just in a second. Uh, let me see here. I don't know if that is a option or not i don't think it is i think that those are included as part of the limited package and if i'm wrong i apologize feel free but just so you know clearly you can either get it as standard or as an option so with that i'm going to run around to the other side we're going to walk you through the interior then we're going to take a drive and talk about that awesome excellent 3.5 liter v6 twin turbo engine again 2016 ford f-150 limited all right, fans, we're here for the interior portion. Before that, I want to uh, correct something I said earlier. I think right in the walk around, initially I said a 3.6 liter V6. I know a lot of you guys are going to kill me. I apologize. It's a 3.5 liter V6 with all the cars we review and engine options that are available. I got a little bit tongue-tied there. So I apologize. 3.5 liter V6 twin turbos. We'll talk about that in just a second. We'll start off with the door apportionments. Very similar to the back seat. 
Again, that nice Mojave leather right there, the eucalyptus wood, really some nice soft materials. They've continued the wood grain right in through here. This is a nice rubber mat, nice soft leather material up top. Really nice. Again, you the seats you'll see it's got the limited kind of badging right here in, in put right put into the seats. Uh, very nice support on the sides. You you got I don't know how many ways. I, I want to say they're 22 way power seats, but just to be sure, I I don't want to be quoted on that. So I just know that there's a lot of ways that these seats can move. That's the only way I know how to say it. Uh, we get into the interior right here. You can see again the nice wood grain that they've kind of taken over. Um, you push this back. There's two USB ports down here, a charging port right there. You can't. It does have enough room to set your phone in and still close that. You've got two cup holders right here, as well as a spot for your phone. Again, I've got an iPhone 6s Plus. You can set your phone right there. It's a great spot for that. It doesn't go moving, doesn't go flying around. There is ambient lighting. It's hard to show you. Two more cup holders back here, which is really nice, either for the back seat or for the front seat. One other thing that Ford has done is they've added this limited badging. We'll show you that when we go for the driving portion. It's a little hard to do that. Um, center console, really nice deep storage right in here. You could put pretty much anything and everything that you want to uh, down on the back. And again, there is a spot for file folders if you were going to travel. Uh, we'll show you the Sync 3 system here in just a second adaptive cruise there is a unique gauge cluster it's hard to show you that from here just trust us on that a unique gauge cluster for the limited you do have a full-blown power port right here ground and everything and i believe it's a 110 volt 400 watt max and this is your obviously your standard 12 volt right here dual climate controlled heated and cooled front bucket seats and i'm going to go through the rest of my list here so we can just get on with everything else massaging front seats as well i forgot to mention that we'll, we'll get into that in the driving portion the standard panoramic glass roof the vin plate and the heated rear seats which is pretty much kind of everything that we could we could mention so with that being said uh actually dad i'm going to kind of put you in the back seat and we'll take a drive in the 2016 ford f-150 limited all right fans driving portion 2016 ford f-150 limited real quick sync 3 system that's new we showed you that on the last ford uh, it's becoming more and more common we'll we're probably going to do a review later on in all the intricacies of this it's a lot better than the first sync the first and second ones works really really well everything's very responsive very easy to use very simple um as a, or a few other things this car does have am or truck i should say does have ambient lighting on it does have the optional wi-fi multi-contour seats this is where you can activate the massaging if you see fit um again a really nice and then just a cool feature i mean it's something that you don't expect to have um and it works uh, that's all i have to say about that dual climate controls right up here as i mentioned the the, the heated seats you do have the ability to go automatic with your four-wheel drive right here. Um, oh, it's, it's a little bit hot, so let me kind of turn up the AC a little bit. So I apologize for that. It is a nice hot day. It says 60 degrees, but when you're in a truck, it, it does get a little toasty. As I was saying before, the four automatic, um, four high, four low, two high. You also have the auto, so it'll it'll sense the slipping. Integrated trailer brake controller down here. Here's the trailer brake up or backup can't kind of system um I'm, i apologize the name is slipping me right now for what ford calls it if you want to learn more about that again please head to your local dealer they would be happy to show that to you and then the last thing we want to say before we get into the driving is here's that vin plate it gives you what the vin is right here as well as the number so this is obviously the model year and then this was clearly i think that's 91 is what it says truck number 91 so some of you are going to say well who cares about that other people are going to think that's definitely a uh, district or factor on it you can trust us on this this does not only have the panoramic sunroof but it actually has the opening window we'll show you that here really quick so it does open one thing to note is it actually opens underneath the back it doesn't go over the top which which is just a nice feature just kind of a in terms of look when you're looking at it from the outside you don't have to see that thing pop or that the sunroof kind of back end pop up at all um one last thing dad it right behind your head we do have an automatic or not an automatic but a power rear window right there so again that's power which is a really really nice feature um on this truck and, and it's just a again a great added feature that, that ford has put on here for us so with that being said we'll show you the backup camera um as you can see and on this truck specifically it does have the 360 degree monitor right over here right now you have the dynamic grid lines 
But again, if you're using the 360 degree view, you can see where you're at and get as close as stinking possible as whatever you want to do. Really, again, really great features. Uh, something I'm a fan of. Not only does this have like kind of a lane alert, a adaptive cruise, it actually has a lane keep assist, which is really, really nice. So if you're going around a corner, it'll actually steer you. Um, in terms of quietness, it's really hard for you to tell. Very quiet interior for a truck. The 22 inch wheels do add a little bit of noise to it, but it is, is relatively quiet on the inside. Um, I'm going to mention a few standard things here in just a second as we get going, but I want to kind of talk about the EcoBoost engine. Again, three and a half liter EcoBoost engine, which is a really nice, great feature. Um, I believe on the back seats as well as safety, you have the airbagged uh, seat belt, which is again a really nice, great feature for traveling with kids or, or family members, whatever it might be. R really nice. Back to the engine. Been able to average 19 miles per gallon, I b believe, and I've actually got it written down in my notes here. It is rated for 17 and 23, 19 average, 365 horsepower, and man, does this thing work. I don't know how else to say it other than to say this thing flat out hauls the bacon when you need to. This will actually tow more than the V8 that we, uh, that we tested last time. If properly equipped, and we always have to put that caveat on everything. If you properly equip these trucks, they're going to go wherever. And actually, you know what, Dad? Why don't we kind of get up here and show people what that kind of sounds, what the what the EcoBoost sounds like. In terms of driving, it feels like a truck, which is what it's supposed to. And you're just not feeling like you're driving a car. It is a little bit bumpier, I guess, than maybe I would expect of a, of a $67,000 truck. We've driven some other trucks in the past. And you stand on this thing and it just gets up and goes. So I wanted to show you that. Um, in terms of ride quality and, and, and that, it's not going to be quite as good as Ram's air suspension or even what Chevrolet's done kind of with their independent uh, suspensions. That, but again, for this truck and for what you're going to be able to haul in terms of cargo and in terms of just general towing capacity, it's going to do the job and you're not going to feel like you're driving a three-quarter or one-ton truck or even other half ton work trucks. It does have some added suspension, which is really nice on this. Few features I want to clear up before we go. Um, again, what's new for the sync for, for there is, is the sync three. Prop, um, last few kind of points here, I guess you could say. This truck works really, really well. It is, in our mind, the epitome of luxury vehicles, luxury, not, not vehicles, but luxury trucks. I think it's top of the line, top of the class, um, from Chevy, from G, or from uh, GMC uh, to Ram, whoever it might be, to Toyota. In terms of a half-ton pickup, this is the top of the line in our opinion. The wood grain, the leather, the safety features that you get, the just the overall standard features that are available on this car or on this truck, I should say. You're not going to find a lot of that on other manufacturers, which is is, is a big plus. We actually drove this a few weeks back at, at our big RMDE event, and we, we kind of told ourselves, man, you know, for what whatever your thoughts might be about Ford, they know how to build a nice truck. It'll haul everything you need it to haul, go everywhere that you need it to go. Uh, we normally don't do this, but with the fact that this is, again, kind of a, a different truck for us uh, and, and in general, I know he's behind the camera, but Dad, what were your thoughts on the 2016 Ford F-150 Limited? Nice truck. The 3.5 liter turbo engine works fantastic. It's smooth. Uh, Richard said a moment ago that, you know, the ride quality of this compares to other trucks in its class. Probably the only thing that I think might have a better ride quality would be the Ram. Both this truck and Chevy independent suspension front, actually Dodge also, the Ram also, but Ride quality, not bad. I'm not going to knock it. It wouldn't keep me from buying the truck. I love the sync uh, features that are in this truck as far as the nav control. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're struggling with the trailer backup side of the fence, Ford is the only one that will give you that mm -hmm. trailer backup assist. As Richard said earlier, there are stickers you have to put on the tongue of the trailer, set it up, and so on. It's why we can't give you a demo of that because we just don't have the ability to do all of that. 
again, check that out at your local Ford dealer. But this is a home run, a great truck. Absolutely, and I, I would agree on everything that you mentioned. The only con we might have would maybe be the, the ride quality. But again, for some people, that may not be a quality. They may be hopping this truck and think, wow, this thing is 10 times better than the last truck I had. So if you're interested about this vehicle, head to your local Ford dealer, do some research, get out there, test the trailer backup system, test the luxury features of it. Again, if you're in the market for a luxury truck, you're just wanting something, maybe you're on the road a lot, or maybe you're not on the road a lot, you just wanna have something to go get the groceries in that's got a, a bed in it, rather than that. One last few notes. The only way to buy this truck, and I wanna make sure I get this right, the Super Crew, so four doors, five and a half foot bed with the three and a half liter v6 if you don't want some of those things you can step down to the platinum and configure the platinum how you want it but for the limited that's the only way that this truck comes again if you want to learn more about this vehicle head to your local ford dealer and tell them if you do tell them that john and richard rush from drive radio sent you